Hey, how's it going on, Charlie? I'm Gene. Thanks for tuning in to Malkin's Kosky and Gene. We have an Iron Root special edition today. Dying, do we, or do we not have a freaking very, very special, oh, man. very, very special. Such a special bottle this is. You can see everything's handwritten. Hand so, written. shout out, Gene, yes. to Robert Licorice, who legitimately, in front of our eyes, hand bottled this in his uh, barrel room. Probably need a little bit more than that, maybe, I don't know. Maybe not quite that much. In his barrel room, right in front of us. If, that, if I have video of it, and I think I do, I'll post that somehow in front of us. Where so this is a brandy cask. This is gonna be the younger of the two brandies we're gonna taste. So this is actually a uh, Chenin Blanc that's almost two years old. So huh. this is again gonna be that about 22 months old. Okay. This, so. I don't have a lot of experience with brandy. Uh, fun. This will be fun. Yeah, good so call. I don't know how that brandy. We're gonna jump up and proof now quite a bit with this okay. guy. All right. So, so brandy typically, when you're talking about cognacs, they tend to start very high proof and barrel higher than whiskeys do. Okay. So you're talking this is it going to be in the mid 130s right now. Ooh. And over kind of the next year, two years, we're going to start dropping it down so it's closer to the 120-ish, 115. Um, but it's young. It's going to be really fruity and really fun. It's kind of... This is brandy, folks. This is iron. Not a competition, Gene. Iron root brandy. 64.5 the ABV, 129 proof. This is iron root immature brandy. 23 months old, Riesling, Riesling grapes grown in Denison, Texas, distilled and bottled by Iron Root Public Distillery and signed by Robert Licorice. So this is our first brandy ever that we are going to review. And and I had to, uh, I've never had brandy except for this, and I had to Google what is brandy. Apparently brandy is an after dinner drink digesti, digestif. 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 Drink and I'm like, what? The, are they trying to say digestive? No, it's a completely different word. Word, and you're supposed to drink this after a meal. But it's All supposed right. to help your digestive system. Yeah, but that's what brandy. Is. That's according to Google. That's what uh, brandy. Is. Uh, so how did we come across this bottle? Um, we were invited to uh, Iron Root. Um, we got to hang out in their uh, barrel room. Five hours in this barrel room. He's like. You can taste whatever you want. Anything. You point to barrel, you're like, yeah, sure, let's go taste that. Man, he's a hell that of a is, host. That is a day I'll never forget. Hell of a host and a true man. We got to taste some wonderful, uh, wonderful things. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so anyway, he said, hey, give you a bottle of whatever you want. And I wanted something that no one else could get. Mm -hmm. Now, it was, for me, it was a toss up. What I liked their, uh, the most that day was their rye or the brandy. I wanted something else no one could get their hands on. Um, at the time. And the rye, I said, are you gonna have this rye come out in a cash rate? He said, I don't know. So I, I flipped the coin, I took the gamble, and I said, I don't think they're gonna put the brandy out in that cash strength. I want a bottle of brandy. And he was kind enough to, got a bottle of brandy. Bottle of brandy, and it, it was- Handwritten. Mm -hmm. On the nose. Thank you. This is concentrated red berry <sighs> with some kind of a cherry filled caramel. For me, this is a bag of, I thought you were gonna say it, red, uh, red vine licorice. Oh, okay. Red vine licorice. And it, it's, uh, it's edgy on the nose. It's almost a, like it has an acidic nose. Um, it, it's a, uh, uh, oh, it's sparky. It almost like it has an acidic nose, but red vine licorice, heavy on the uh, berries. Very, very berry. It's a very berry brandy. <laughs> the berry has bodies. <laughs> and they're all berries. Shout out to HBO and berries and his bodies. <laughs> it's got no bodies. Berry, berry kills all my bodies. You got no bodies. You have one body, I have no bodies. Berry killed all my bodies. Freaking berry. I'm going in. Have a good one. So, uh, I've never had a brandy, so maybe I'm talking to you because you've never had a brandy, or maybe you had a bunch of brandies, and you're like, yeah, that was a common brandy note. I don't know, I'm ignorant to brandy, but I know this, and this is awesome. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that is really, really yummy. But I'm, I'm a wine drinker. Um, this is a dark, dark red, sweet wine with yumminess. 
but not really wine. It's a wine, the, the, the grapes and the berries from the wine. Mmm. I'm gonna coin a phrase and I'm gonna call this bourbon wine. I don't like wine. I just never acquired a taste, but if wine tasted like this, hell yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be awesome. I'm gonna coin this as, as cowboy wine. Now they're not, they weren't ready to release this. Nope. They're like, it's, that's why they, they even put on here when they say like young or- Immature brandy. Immature. Immature brandy. But me, I, I think this is ready to be bottled. I It is buttery, it's berries, it's yum. And I can get, there on the second taste, I can 100% that Texas sage that I already is known for is shining through on this brandy. It's sinking into my tongue. Oh. Man, my taste buds are just dancing. They're having a party. They're for, forming a conga line. <laughs> uh, I'm getting some banana chips now, um, which I, is a new note for me. Some banana chips uh, there on the finish. Banana chips, red berries, and because it's a 64, we put a good amount of water in there. My word, one good. drop of water. One drop of water, I got cotton candy. Sweet and low. Oh my, I tell you, I mean, it's a cotton candy Ooh. bubble gum now. <sighs> For me, uh, now I'm getting, if uh, I wanted to make my own frosting, got some powdered sugar, some water, make my own frosting now. It really sweetened up the nose. And uh, now I get why the brandy is an after dinner drink. It's a, I get it. So I'm getting some funnel cake now, some powdered sugar funnel cake. Mm. <sighs> That's good stuff. It cranked up mama's peppers. <claps> Boom! Boom with the freaking peppers. That's that's good stuff. Mmm. Man, I'm gonna have to start drinking brandy now. That is damn good. I like Texas it. Texas brandy? Wow. I like it. Um only 23 months old. If you don't know everything, well, at least in this part of Texas, um, ages more quickly in their barrel room. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna give it what I'm gonna give it, Gene. 93, 92, look it's at you. 92. I was debating 92. I'm, like, I'm not doing this just if I give it a it's, 92. It's good, man, oh man. I wish that, um, I, I want them to bottle it like this. Yes. I mean, not that they're gonna listen to me, cause. They probably will. I don't think so. Probably will. Uh, yes, if you've not tried Iron Root, get your hands on Iron Root. Iron Root is awesome. I uh, love everything about it. Shout out to Robert Licorice and uh, uh, Mama Marsha and everybody over there. The, the, the whole family, the Licorice, the licorice family. Brothers and the, and the whole Licorice family. Yeah, everything here was Iron Root is done in Texas. The entire, I, everything so there. To put a price tag on this bottle, I, I'm not sure that you can, because you can't buy it um, unless they decide to bottle it. In which case, well, what they have you? it for a reason. There, yeah. I don't know what tales are supposed to tell out of school here, but they have. I'll say they're they're aging it for a reason, folks. They're aging it for a reason. <laughs> what would you pay for it? One hundred and ten. Okay, there you have it. But if you're listening, to Licorice Family, how about <laughs> nineteen ninety nine? Yeah. A nice sixty dollar bottle would be fun. <laughs> Pinky Thou, twelve dollar bottle of brandy. What? Yeah, they listen to us. They're only doing it for twelve dollars. It's awesome. No, it, this this is really good. Um, one hundred and ten. And it was a it was a real fun day. Um, I'd be okay with one hundred and forty actually. Oh yeah, it was a super fun day. Super fun day. Top five day of our marriage. I could say top five day. You take out the wedding day. Oh, if you don't include that. Mm hmm. Top five day, I would say. Right. That would be hard day. pressed to find five other ones. Anyway, yeah, great great day. Anything left to add, Jean? Nothing else to add. I'm Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. What would you pay for it? Oh, I'd just let you buy it. <laughs> That's a great answer. <laughs>